Eddie and Danny Walker own Edney BLT in Traverse City. They want to move to a new location and buy better equipment, so they started an Indiegogo account hoping to raise $15,000. We did our research and we posted pictures and shared our story and we did a video tour of our restaurant and pointed things out and, and it was a lot more personal. It's a method many businesses are trying, but it's something the IRS hasn't had much experience with. Because it's so new, I don't think that there's a whole lot of hard black and white um, information. He says those donations are considered income, but as long as it's used for business expenses, it won't be taxed. So say you have $20,000 of income and then you had $15,000 of legitimate business expenses, your bottom line is only going to be 5000 and that's what you'll get taxed on, not the $20,000. And if it's done right, it can be very successful. We went live with it about 7 p.m. And we started, donations started trickling in and it was about 1130, less than four hours after we set it up, our, our coworker Paul called and said we need to look at it and we were past our $15,000 mark. <laughs> they say someone they didn't know donated $15,000. It was someone who had heard their story and wanted to help. Having a crowdfunding account allowed that to happen. I believe other businesses would be very oh, yeah. successful with it. We've been twice. And I know other businesses that have been as well. It really does work. In Traverse City, Mara Thompson, 7 and 4 News.